All right, Adam. Shower us with your rear deltoid wisdom. <laughs> uh, so delt. this is probably one of my favorite. Um, the rear delt's a very small muscle. It's responsible for a very small movement. I think a lot of people that do exercises for the rear delts uh, tend to do things that uh, allow their back muscles to overpower it. And that's why they have a hard time getting that rear delt to really pop and shape because all the rear delt exercises they're, they're doing, uh, they're doing really heavy type movements where the big back muscles start to take over. Mm -hmm. So this is a movement where I started very light when I first started doing it. And I like that it, I can really focus on my mechanics and I keep tension on the rear delt the entire time. So that's why this is a winning move. Uh, I'll use any sort of a free motion cable type machine. Very light when we first start off. Uh, I want to back away from it so I know that I, if I pull through, I'm not going to get to the bottom, so I'm going to get a good four or five feet away from this. But I want the cable lined up to where it's coming right across my chest. Now this plays all over the place, so it's okay where I'm really standing. Then I'm going to get myself down in kind of a squatted or deadlift type of position. Okay, so stop right there. Good posture, neutral spine, knees bent, tight hips, and you've got your other arm resting on your leg. Okay. And what, what's common, and this is with a mistake that I'm talking about that most people make with rear delt moves, is they tend to do this, yeah. where they want to they squeeze the back to oh, get it, it up. A, where it becomes a row. This, yeah, where this, is, muscle almost, it too this much. is more of a flying out motion, not a flying back. And right. that's, the, that's, the, that's the big difference. So maker. you're pulling out. Yeah, is, is thinking about flying out, not flying back. I fly back, and now I get more rhomboids involved. Whereas if I fly out, I'm going to target those rear delts a lot better. So. Brace in that position. I want my elbows bent at about a 10 degree bend. That's in a fixed position. So my elbows are never gonna flex or extend from this position. They're gonna stay like that in the entire time. I come all the way out, not coming back. I can come back right. further. I'm gonna come all the way out. Just focus right, right here. Focus I'm on that trying rundel. to really feel that mind-muscle connection. Right and then after I feel that, I'm gonna keep the tension on it and bring it all the way through full range of motion. Now I can feel that rear delt in a stretched position right now. And I'm gonna go right back on it again. Which this is like probably the best range of motion wise that you can get. This out is of why it. it's my favorite. So oh, well, I, it's I, good I've because the, right here there's a lot of resistance. Now when you do this with, with when you do this with dumbbells, there's almost no resistance at the bottom until you get good to the point, top yeah. and you feel it. Right here, he's having to pull so out. All whole, east, or all concentric. This is also getting the eccentric really good. Right. Very very much. And there's not a lot of movements that where you're targeting the rear delts where you can really focus on the entire range of motion on the rear delt without the other big muscles come in. So I think that's the big takeaway when you become somebody who's like into the aesthetics and targeting little muscle groups is, you know, learning how to do that. And a lot of bodybuilders use the term like mind muscle connection, but really it's it's about the mechanics of learning yeah. how to do. Proper this. positioning, mechanics, everything has to kind of align for you to be able to target it specifically. Absolutely, so, and rear delts to me are one that a lot of people do incorrectly. Well, yeah. but they from, do from, I was gonna say from an aesthetic point of view, why would you want to develop your rear delts? It gives you round looking shoulders. People don't realize right. that. You want round looking shoulders. It's not the front delts. Yeah, if everything's it's in the, the interior, yeah, exactly. then you're, you're not going to be fully and developed all the way And it's important to note that there's a reason why we're that way. We are so anterior driven, right? Everything we do is in the front. So yeah. it's difficult already to do posterior type stuff. And then in addition to that, because it's a very small muscle, the back and other big muscles want to take over that movement. And if you get so caught up in just performing the exercise and trying to increase weight, like you see like upright rows can be a great exercise that the rear delts could get involved. But unfortunately, all these other big muscles end up taking over for a lot of people. Or you see people do like a seated row and they, they elevate it so their rear delts get more involved too. But still, it's such, a, it's such a big muscle movement for the back that the back starts to take over on a lot of it, so. Well, not to mention, it's also gonna reinforce better posture. Yeah. I mean, it's just gonna naturally bring everything back and we get super attractive and we're just focused on that anterior portion of the, of the, uh, the yeah. body. One of my favorite moves for rear delts, for sure.